What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Takeaway here. I'm bringing you guys a great money game. Um, this was versus Carry On Saloon for about twenty-five or thirty-five dollars, and this video is just something like brand new that a bunch of people have been telling me to do. Apologize for that. That a bunch of people have been telling me to do, and I took consideration into it. So, for now on. And my games, I'm going to be showing you guys my adjustments on defense and why I'm doing it and my adjustments on offense. Like I said, I mean, people have been requesting this for a long time, so why not show you guys what I be um thinking on defense and what be going through my head and everything. So I ran commit twice. He know how to do it, and I ran commit again and threw another pick. I mean, I said threw another pick, and he scored. So I'm running the Atlanta offense this game. And look, we see him biting down with Earl Thomas. So what do I do? I actually leave the play action to suck my opponent down. You see, he, he bit down. Bam. First play of the game. We catch him deep. So that was a big a big bomb to start off the game. Of course, you want to start off the game real good. The better the start, the more likely you are to win the game, in my, in my opinion. So right here, third and goal. He's playing some good faggy right here. And I get caught up, and I get sacked, so... Fourth and goal in the seven. We run the play wide receiver cross out of tight flex. Flip it. Run two end routes. Hoping he'll jump on one of the end routes. He blitz. Bam. Right through the right through the um thread. Right there. So we doubted him right there. He's running five wide right now. And you don't want to blitz five wide. I mean that's the most stupidest thing to do. It's to blitz five wide. So right about now, he's no huddling once again. Now look at the adjustment. We man up why No, no, we actually send the blitz right here. And what happened, we get dotted. See? Look what happens when you blitz five wide. So, we come on out of the four DNs package. We use this package um, to get our linebackers at D tackles. And you can man them up. It's a real good defense. That play accidentally got cut off, but 35. As you can see, we went for two and we didn't get it. So what does he run right here? He runs a read option and hands it off to running back. So a very random play call, but it worked. So now we got to play the quarterback now. We got to play the running back and play the quarterback manually. So he runs a play action pass. We play good D. Manned up. He's running. He's running. He throws it. Unfortunately, Dante Winter must be too short. And we couldn't get the pick. So 39. Running a wide on D once again. We manned up his dudes. Everything's locked and covered. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. No one's open. I, I kind of should have clicked on and ran after him, but I figured these two dudes would go chasing. Look at that lineman over there just being stupid. So that was a great defense right there. He ran out of bounds. I called timeout because I thought he was going to no huddle, but he ends up taking three. So right about now, the score is 9-6. So... 9-6. But no, he misses the field goal. <laughs> he missed the fucking field goal. I don't know how, but he missed the field goal. So it's still 7-6. So I'm like, damn, I got to win this game. This nigga's missing field goals and shit. I got to win. So we come out of the play, play action, wide receiver in. And he's running man right here. Caught me off guard. And I threw the ball out of bounds. That was a very good play call by him to just run the man defense and catch me off guard. So we're on 39 right here. We come out of the um, the spread. We ran and play. We no huddle. So we ran two end routes. And bam. One of them got open. Two end routes, two end routes on the field. I figured that one of them would get a wide open. So right about now, it's the second quarter. We dialed them wide open. We got Crabtree. And we get a big hit. But we got 11 yards. So, I mean, I'm cool with that. But in the future, I definitely want to avoid his sticks like that. Next play, we throw a corner route. Okay. And we're on second and one. Now we coming out of the bunch. What? <laughs> we coming out of the bunch. We on second and one. Now what do we do right here? All right, we looking. We don't know what to run right here. He runs commit. I have X wide open, but unfortunately I don't see him, and we mess up. <laughs> third and one 
Let's see what we do right here. And we catch him with a nice run with Frank Gore. So first to go on a five, we know huddle. We run the um, power again, and we get blown up. We're on second and six. Like I said, this is a new feature uh, segment, I guess you could say, of me like bringing you guys my money games and giving you guys um, first first hand of what I'm doing and like what I'm thinking when I'm playing. So right about here, we running playing real good defense, right as you can see, real good defense. Sorry for the interruption from before, cause my cousin boyfriend came in here was wondering what I was doing, cause I was doing my commentary. He never seen me doing this. He thought I was just talking to my computer, but he took off and got a big run with Marshawn. So right about now, we run nickel strong, two men under. Not the spectacular with a spy. We put our safety in the yellow, just trying to disguise the coverage a little. I mean, he could probably tell it's man coverage, but um. He don't know whether I'm sending a man press blitz or something. So we come out in a fact, yeah, I guess you could say. We're rushing three, but he runs the ball. Unfortunately, he ran away from the hit stick. That was very good by him. Very good by him. He's trying to run these fades. I mainly bumped him and then got tossed, got super torched. So 14-14, fresh out of half. We showing you this kick return because what? We out? No, we fucking fumbled. But unfortunately... I mean, fortunately, we recovered it, so I'm not putting that through that kick return no more. So we run the, um, the PA pass, and look at Vernon Davis. God damn. Getting glitchy. So third inch, we run the ball. Truck, truck, truck. Get, get off me. Get off me. Right now, he's running wide nine, and I know he's not going to be able to stop the run. So what do we do? We take off, get on a nice little stiff arm, and bam, we gone. Frank Gore is gone. Very good run play. Took off. So now, once again, we run the nickel strong, but as you can see, we're not blitzing out of the nickel strong. We just running Fagley and giving him the idea that we blitzing. So we go play the out route and we run. So that was kind of a bait. I wasn't gonna really like go fully and jump the out route. I just wanted to run over there so he wouldn't throw it. So once again, you can see me manning up people, putting flats, and just adjusting pretty much. And look, great adjustment. I don't know why I couldn't go for the pick. I don't know why. So he comes out of a random formation and throws a quick streak. That pass to the right. And he caught me. So that was a good pass by him. I didn't know he was coming out of that formation and caught me off guard. But once again, he goes back to the 5 wide and immediately I just start manning up people, putting flats and shit. And bam, look. See how last time he caught me with the screen? And I adjusted to that and manned up the drag dude. So that was just a simple mental note that I took, took notice of. To man up the wide dude and just put the flat to just stop that whole play. So once again, we manning up dudes and he throws the out route. That was he caught me really good right there. But he's out of bounds because he threw it too late. So once again, I don't know what I was lurking right there. That was just a bad lurk by me. I mean I tend to lurk stupid shit for some reason. Like I could have a streak over the middle and go jump down on a stupid running back route like I did, which was just dumb, so Right here, we actually send the blitz, but we run it flipped, and we fucked it all up. And look, I had the perfect user right up the gat to make him fumble. But what did I do? Just run to the outside. So I'm definitely trying to improve my game, obviously, and improve my users. Can't wait to play on the next-gen version. You guys are going to see a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of more videos when I get the next-gen. I'm telling you guys. So just stay tuned for that. But um, that was a nice click on catch by him, and he runs it in. But then look, we click on, click on, bam. So I'm up one point right now. I mean, this was like big, big money. I mean, I would definitely just clock the whole, this whole game out. The game would have been done. I would have dove down right there. The game literally would have been over. I would have clocked the whole game out. I mean, I want to win too, but of course I want to bring you guys, you know, some entertainment from the game. So I don't want to just make it real boring. But of course I want to win. Right there, that was bad uses by me. I clearly could have scored. I clearly could have scored, but I messed up. So, right about now, we just run in the bunch again. And, ooh, look at capping it. We get sticky. Yeah, we close, we showboat. Fuck it. Okay, I'm showboat. And it's lucky it's not next gen because I see they added some real showboats. But look what he did right here. 
perfect by him. He knew I was running man, and he knew I had a slow dude up top. So he ran the play action pass, and he caught me deep. And then what does he do? He no huddle, and he throws the fade. So that's just something to take note of. He definitely knows what he's doing, and he caught me. So I can't be mad at that at all. That's just my fault right there. So, right about now, it's the fourth quarter. So I'm thinking, like, what am I going to do to win the game? What can I do? And what's going to work and what not? Like I said, guys, just stay tuned. Like the video. Um, comment. Just talk to me, guys. If you like seeing this, just let me know, and I'll keep them coming. That, that's all I'm saying. You guys like seeing this, just let me know, and I'll keep it coming. Yeah, I went for two and didn't get it, obviously. Sorry, guys. I had to make a new um narration. But um, back into the game. Third and eight. We run the base again. It's 28-28. So right about now, I mean, I could definitely go for the milk and just kick a game on the field goal, which is what I'm going to try to do if I play my offensive right. But let's see how this offensive drive goes. Of course, I'm going to fuck up, probably. So, we take it down to the two-minute one. He has one timeout. So, pretty much, I get a first down. That's the game, right? So, this is something that you would like to do online. This is like an online tactic. Come out of the package while receive a wing, right? And then put your running back at fullback. Now, what this does is when your opponent is on defense, looking at the formation you come out of, it says... Instead of saying like goal line, like three running backs, two tight ends, or whatever the form, whatever the um, formation says, it's gonna say one wide receiver, two tight ends, two running backs. So they, you know, they tend not to come out of their quarterback sneak defense. So you can definitely get away with it. But right here, look at this stupid ass play call I do. I tried to throw the ball away. I had X open. I got sacked. So third and 19. I mean, I'm out of field goal range. So now I'm definitely fucked. If I don't, if I don't um pick up this first down or get some yards, I lost the game. And I'm going to be pretty salty because I had this game in the bag. So right here, we run the play bench, which is a great play to run. And bam, we had X wide open. He jumped down for a second. We just popped him up top. So this kind of worked out on his behalf and not on my behalf because um, obviously he's going to get a chance to come down the field and score. So I'm going for two. I'm not going to allow this guy to go for two and beat me because I know if I um, got the ball and I scored, I'm going for two. So... I'm like, I'm going for two. Let's see. If I get this first down, that, I mean, if I get this two, I mean, I'm in a great position. He has no timeouts. He has to score and then get the two. So, I run the ball. Bad, 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 bad play. And he um, stops me. So, this is where we get real adjusty, guys. He comes out of this two wide receiver. He thinking I'm going to run him up. So, look what I do. I blitz him, put the flat, and just go cover B. Bam. We scream at him. Great defense right there. We put the flat for the out route. We mainly covered B, and we didn't have to worry about no one else. So that was a great adjustment blitz by me. So right about now, we – let's see what we do. I'm going to see. We ran the blitz again. We had to click on because he quick hiked me, and we get him for a gain of one. Or a loss of one, actually. So this play right here was the only fluky thing that happened the entire game. I would say this was kind of fake, but um, the game was played perfect. This was the only fake thing I, I could say that happened. Look, they called pass interference fam on a dot. So, either way, the clock would have been running, but that definitely, they definitely um cheated him right there. So, third 19, look at the beautiful adjustment we make. We come back out of wide nine. We see he's in four wide receivers, one tight end. So, look what we do. We run the blitz. We man up. Look, he gives me time because he motions that dude. So we man up Y, and we just going to lurk RB because we know he got the tight end blocking. What does he do? Bam. Throw it right to me. So that was just one of the simple adjustments, guys. Just take note. If you know they're going to do a streak or uh, slant to somebody across the field, man him up. So that was just a perfect adjustment by me, and we took full advantage. And then um, 
he just dashboarded the game. I mean, it's not a big deal. Game was over already. So, just like the video, comment, and let me know if you guys like to see this. If you like me talking about my adjustments and why I'm doing it on offense, this could definitely help all types of players from the beginners to the average and even the top players if they watch me, you know, they could learn something. So, it's your boy Takeaway Out, guys. Peace.